Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create an admin panel in Laravel really easily using a package called Filament. So, using this package, you can not only create an admin panel, you can also create any kind of code operation and relationship in admin panel. So, I will show you everything step by step how you can do it and it has a lot of feature like you have dark mode, light mode. And you can really easily add any post or add any data, upload any image. So let's just get started and I'm going to show you from the very start. So let's just close this and right now let's go and create a fresh Laravel project. So I can just close the command prompt and let's say we will create our Laravel project over here. So in this, we are going to open, open a command prompt. We say here CMD, then press enter. And in order to create a Laravel project, we need to say our here Laravel new and our project name will be let's say Laravel admin. You can name the project anything. So right now we'll press enter and it will start creating our Laravel project and we need to answer some portion here. Let's say here we we'll start at kit. Do you want to install? We'll say here none. Here we're going to say zero or you can also say paste. And after writing zero, it will start creating our Laravel project. So this will take some time. Right now, I will just fast forward the video. And at some point, it will ask you a question. Which database would you like to use? We are going to use MySQL. So we we'll say here MySQL, then press enter. And would you like to create the default database? So here we are going to say yes. And before that, you need to make sure that your XAM is running your apache and mysql should be running so here we are going to say yes and then press enter and it will create a database with some table and it will take a few more seconds to create our project and do you want to run npm installed and npm run dev we are going to say yes then press enter and there you can see it is done so right now we need to go to the project directory then we need to run composer run dev so we can also close this and let me just show you that project which is this one here you can see laravel admin this was our project name so let's go inside and there you can see this is the laravel project structure so let's go and run the project so we're going to say our dear cmd then press enter and there you can see we're in the project directory and we're going to say our here composer run dev then press enter and you will see something like this so here you can see info server running on this address so we are going to copy this then we'll go to our browser paste it here press enter and this is our freshly created laravel project so right now what we want is that we want to add or we want to create admin panel in this project and for it we are going to use filament so if we just saw such our here filament laravel then press enter here you can see filamentpsc.com so we need to click here then you can see getting started or get started click on this button then click on get started again and there you go it will take you to this page what is filament and here you can see installation so we will directly go to the installation section then it will show us some command to install this package for our laravel project so here the first command is composer require filament slash filament and the current filament version is 4.0 so we are going to copy this after that we'll go to our project and we're going to open another command prompt so let me just over here cmd then press enter and let's just paste the command which is composer require filament slash filament then press enter so this will install some packages in our laravel project so this will take some time again i will just fast forward the video and there you can see this command is done so after that we need to copy this command is to addition filament install panel so we need to copy this then we'll just go to our command prompt paste it here then press enter so it will ask what is the admin panel it we are going to say here admin then press enter and would you like to show some love for now we're going to say here no press enter again and it is done so right now let's go and open this laravel project using visual studio code so here we're going to say code 
start Arduino press enter this Laravel project will be open in user studio port so let's just press enter and there you can see this is our Laravel project here you can see Laravel admin so right now what we are going to do is that uh, if I just go to app and here you can see there is no filament or any other things over there so right now let's do one thing that is let's go to our browser again and so here you can see we have a command over here p square addition make filament user so this is for admin user so right now if i just go to the database here you can see case my admin and here it should create a database called laravel admin here you can see laravel underscore admin and in the user table there is no data over here and if i just go to my dot in the file uh, here you can see laravel underscore admin so this was created by laravel by default okay so right now what we are going to do is that i am just going to copy this command and we will go to our command prompt then paste it here then press enter and it will ask for a name let's say the name will be admin email will be admin at the rate of gmail.com press enter then we need to give password so we we'll say password will be on two three four five six seven eight then press enter so it will create a admin user so right now if i just refresh this user table here you can see we have the user name email and the password over here so right now what we need to do is that we need to go to the uh, let me just show you we need to go to localhost slash admin slash login so if i just give over here slash admin then slash login then test editor it will take us to the login panel and here we need to give the email address then the password which was on two three four five six seven eight click on sign in and there you can see it took us to the dashboard so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to let's say create an option over here called user and for the user we are going to create a code operation so for it uh, what we need to do is that let's just click over here resources and here you can see listing records okay let's just click over here overview so here you can see in the overview section we have a command is to addition make filament resource customer so instead of customer we are going to say over here user because we already have the user table here so we are going to create a code operation for user so for it let's go to our command prompt and let's just paste it here and let me just show you the code over here first there you can see over here there is no other folder or files right so here you can see we write fees petition make filament resource and the resource will be for user so we're going to see over here user paste enter and what is the title attribute for the model you can leave it empty if you leave it empty then it will uh, crack the user by id so we are going to keep it empty then press enter and would you like to generate a read only view where we will see over here no because we want to create a view where we can update or delete the data so we will say here no then press enter and should the configuration be generated from the current database column what will be say here yes then press intact and it will be done so right now if we refresh we'll see a user option over here here you can see users and if you now click on users it will show you the current user that we have in the user tv which is basically this one admin and admin at that of gmail.com so right now if we just go to our code here you can see in the app we have one more folder called filament and in the filament we have user resources and in the table here you can see user table we have schema user form and pages over here as well so let's say we want to add a user here you can see new user button if we now click on it there you can see name email password and we have email verified at so let's say you want on this field so how can we remove this so for it what you need to do is that we need to go to the filament folder <laughs> then in the filament folder resource users and here uh, you can see schemas right so in the schema here you can see user form so we'll go here then we'll go down and here you can see date picker make email verified ad so we are going to remove this then save it go back and if we now refresh they can see 
email verified at field is core. So right now let's go and add a user. Let's say it will be user on. Let's say user on at the rate of gmail.com. We can also add a password. Let's on the 345678. Then click here create. And here you can see it is created. And if you go to the users table. There you can see we have onboard the user. So let's say you want to add a delete button here. So how can we do it? For it, it is really simple. So here we need to go to the table section here. Table and inside table here you can see user table.php. And here at the top you can see use filament action edit action. So we are going to copy this then paste it here. And instead of edit action we are going to say over here delete action. Then we will go down. And here you can see edit action make. So let's copy paste it here and we are going to say here delete action. If we now save, then if we now go to the browser, then refresh here, then you can see we have that delete button over here right now. And here you can see in the table we have email verified at fail. So we want to remove this. How can we remove it? Really simple. Here you can see email verified at. You can just remove this, save this, then refresh. There you can see we only have two columns right now. So right now let's say you want to create a fresh table where you want to upload the images as well. So how can we do it? That is really simple. Let's go and just create a fresh table right now. So in order to create a fresh table, so we need to say over here PHP artisan make clone model. Let's say the model name will be post. And we also create migration at the same time. So we say here minus M then press enter. So it will create model and migration at the same time. So right now if we just go to our code and if we go to database migration here you will see post table. So for the post table we are going to add three columns. So let's say here dollar table. Let's say string. And for the string we will say here title. So we have three column title, image and description. So let's just copy this and paste it here. So this one will be for description and for description let's use long text. And then here we are going to say image and let's just set this. So after this what we are going to do is we are going to uh, go to the model. So we will go to app, then here you can see models, then here you can see post.php. So here what we are going to do is that from the user, I am going to copy this, product it fillable and I will paste it over here. And our column was for the post table, title, then description and this one will be image. So you need to make sure you have added those properly otherwise you will get an error. So we can now close this. So after writing the model and database we need to write this command which is php artisan migrates. Press enter and it is done. So right now if we just go to the database and here you can see Laravel admin and here you can see we have post table. So the post table is empty. So we want to create a few like user for post table. So for it, what we need to do is let me just copy this again. PSU addition make filament resource customer. Then we'll go to our former prompt. But before that, here in the app and in the filament, there is no post uh, folder over here. Okay. So we are going to paste it. PSQLization make filament resource and this time it will be post and make sure the P is capital then press enter and uh, what is the title attribute for this model we are going to press enter just keep it empty and press enter and read only it will be no press enter and here we are going to say yes then press enter and it is done so right now if we just refresh here you can see we have post option here and if we just go to our code and click on filament here you can see we have in the resource folder we have two folder 
post and user and if we click on post we have some structure over here the same as user okay so right now here if we click on post then you can see it is showing title image and it is empty because there is no data in the post table so let's go and try to add a data so here you can see new post if you now click on new post you can see we have title description and the image field so those will be automatically generated by filament so if you want you can modify those by going to those folder tables folders image folder and the pages folder as well so let's go and add a data let's say here title will be my test description will be my description test and let's go and add an image let's say the image will be uh this one then click on open they can see this uploading and the upload is complete now we need to click here create and it is stuck so right now if you now click on post there you can see we are able to see the title and the image and here you can see edit option let's try to edit it and let's say the edit will be my test first you can try it anything then click here save changes there you can see it is set then click on post and there you go it is showing the title and the image but it is not showing the description so we need to modify this so for it let's go to our code we'll go to fill app filament resource in post inside post here you can see table and here you can see post table so here we are going to add the description option over here so for it uh, let's say we'll show it uh, before the image so let me just copy and paste it here and here we're going to say description let's set this and if we now refresh it is showing the description so uh, here if we just go to the tables you will see a lot of things for columns here you can see text column icon column image column you can modify the image size everything basically so you can just check those by yourself and we want to add a delete button here so for it let's go back and we'll go down let me just copy this then paste it here we're going to say delete action then we need to go at the top let's copy and paste it here and here we're going to say delete action save this then refresh and there you go so let's try to add on more post let's say here text okay let's just say text let's add on more image this on or let's say this on then image is uploading then click on create And it is done. So if we now go to the post, there you can see. Let's say we want to delete this one. If you now click on delete, it will show us this. Are you sure to delete this? If you now click on delete, it will be deleted. There you can see. So this is how we can create an admin panel in Laravel really easily, and you can modify or create any kind of code operation and you can also make relationship over here as well just check out the documentation i just showed you every basic things that you need in admin panel so i hope this tutorial was useful and you'll be able to create the admin panel really easily from now on so if it was useful make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a comment thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the future tutorials